Sunday morning, you're gonna hang out with us today. We're gonna show you a Sunday in the bus life. Uh, the kids are outside hanging out, playing. They spent the night over at Mimi and Paul last night. They do chores during the week, so me and Jen tackle the bus on Sunday. We tackle it, we clean it, because it gets pretty dirty. So we're gonna do a full deep clean, and we got a few other things to do today. First, let's get to some coffee, and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute. I mean, who doesn't need 12 black peppers? I'm the kind of guy, and I, I, some of you can probably relate to this, that if I need it and I'm thinking about it in the grocery store, I'm like, hmm, I second guess myself. I don't have that, so I buy it. And then you end up with 7,000 spices of probably which of half or more duplicates. You know, the struggle is real. I think, I think other people do this. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys do that. Because this is definitely one of those situations that I do that regularly. Now I'm going to sort through them, throw away a lot of the duplicates, especially the empties. I'm not really sure why I keep the empties. Yeah, hopefully we'll thin this out a little bit. So I, I reduced the fleet down a little bit. Check it out. So I got my, my essentials right here, stuff I'll use on the daily. I got my garlic powder hidden back there because it's such a large one. I have my more for barbecuing, like bigger quantity stuff. And then the specialty stuff that I'm not gonna use daily. Kind of shoved in the back there a little bit. Look, I've got enough room for at least 30 other spices. So now it's time to fill it up again.
That was a lot. I'm tired. And it's, the day's just started. Let's go take a look, see what we did. Let us know what you guys think. All right. So we got all, we wiped all of our benches down, got them nice and clean, white. I don't know why we have white benches, but we do. You know, you saw us go through our spices. We got them. Let's take a look. They look good. Look at that. I got all my important stuff up here at the top. Just what I need. Got the cooktop nice and shiny. Got a few stains on here. I think they make a uh, stainless cleaner. I'm probably going to pick up some of that to get that out. Got our floors nice and vacuumed. Got a mop. Bathroom's looking good. We wiped down all the cabinets. More white, I know. And let's take a look on back here. Hi. So just finishing up with the windows. Oh, it's exhausting. But we have got to get out of these clothes. We're going to Granny's for lunch. And then you are going to come with us and go see what Granny's got cooking on this uh, pretty cool Sunday. We had a good time. The kids got a whole bunch of stuff. So we're still work to do though. A bunch of laundry in the back of the car over there. We're gonna get it inside the bus, get it put away. Uh, we have our live stream coming up here in a little bit. So this Sunday is not over yet. So we got a nice little backdrop coming in. Yeah, Granny's was a lot of fun. She had some food. Kids got a bunch of awesome presents and stuff. So it's good to go down there and hang out with family for a little bit, but more to be done. So let's get started. of our work done. Well, pretty much all of it. The kids just have to put away their laundry. And now this is our zen time. We relax and chill by the hammock. I grab a book to read, we play some music, and it's kind of just our, our zen before we have to go live. We've got a live in about two hours. Let's do some relaxing before we, before we go live and hang out with you guys. but surely coming to an end we have to 
live stream coming up in like 40 minutes, but I need to go ahead and throw together a quick little dinner. I know the kids are gonna be hungry pretty soon and I'm getting a little hungry myself. I had these chicken breasts in the fridge. I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer. Found a couple of bell pepper. I'm gonna slice them up, saute them real good. I found this Vigo red beans and rice. So we're gonna throw that in the rice cooker. Try to put all this together, hopefully in about 15 to 20 minutes. No, it's gonna take a little longer. But hopefully within a half an hour, we'll be able to eat this. So let's get to it. Not, run, absolutely not. tonight getting it posted for tomorrow uh, we are going to talk a little bit about why it's been slightly slightly crazy over here you like us uh, oh yeah see we gotta go we gotta finish a live stream <laughs> All right, so we just finished up our live stream. I'm having me some dinner. I did some peppers, some shallots. I did some, uh, what else did I do? I had some green green onion, and I have some rice, which you guys saw the rice. First, I gotta walk the dogs. Uh, then I'm gonna go for bed. I'm kinda tired, it's been a long day. I'm gonna eat this food, scarf it down, and then walk those dogs. It is about 12.41 in the morning. It sounds like everybody else has gone to bed. I am still editing our video. It's almost done though. It's been a super long day. Let me show you where, where everybody's at and I think we're gonna, we're gonna close this one out because we're a little tired. 
This is uh, Wheezy's nightly spot that she sleeps. She enjoys sleeping on the couch. Molly's asleep in here. Ben's up, but he should be sleeping. Eli's definitely asleep. He likes his uh, light music. And then uh, let's check on this guy. He's barely asleep watching uh, Jack Skellington. And Theodore's in here with him. Huh, Fifi? And I still have to fold my laundry whenever I get done with the video. We're gonna tell Kyle goodnight. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to, oops, too long to edit this video and get my clothes put away. We hope that you had a great day with us because we had a great day with you. I have got to finish up this video and then go fold my laundry before I get to go to bed. So, goodnight. Deja White was last seen on November the 14th, 2022, missing from Pinzon, Alabama. Born on September 23rd, 2009, 13 years of age, female, biracial, brown hair, brown eyes, 5 foot 9, approximately 120 pounds. If you have any information to the whereabouts of Deja, please reach out to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office at 205-325-1450. Let's see if we can try to help bring Deja home. A vlog we're finishing up filming today. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna be, yeah, just for a minute. Then I, shot them. I will be staying up late tonight getting it posted for tomorrow. Uh, we are gonna talk a little bit about why it's been slightly, slightly crazy over here.